Okay, so Nadine, poor old Nadine, has got dementia now. We have actually been here now for about, about a year and a quarter-ish. Actually, I think it's exactly a year and a quarter to the day. It is. We arrived on the 11th of Apremay, and it's now the 11th of uh, Jugust of the next year. So yeah, we've been here for, we've been here for one year and one quadrum. There you go. And we've done, you know, we've got a decent amount done in that time. We could have got, we could definitely have got more done, but obviously we had those, those little setbacks there. Um, yeah, but, um, hopefully we get, hopefully we get a little productive period now with our five new colonists. Well, our five colonists, one of them new, or maybe two of them we could consider new. Uh, and yeah, hopefully we can get some, get some things set up here and, uh, yeah, get some things happening. Get some things happening. Uh, Declan is proving to be a very useful character. I'm very happy about that. Um, the dumb labor does help so much. Uh, and being able to do a bit of construction as well is also not a bad thing. Whoa, wow, Travis has already done that? Golly, Trav. Uh, let's queue some more mining then. Actually, yeah, this is the next thing we should do. We should do that. And I should consider doing our armory. Yeah, I should consider doing that. Although, what I might do is I might, I might move the animal sleeping spots. So let's temporarily have the animals sleep here. I don't really like that, but that's going to do for the moment. We'll get rid of these. And what we'll do is we'll build in here, we'll build some granite block shelves. And we've got the thing there. I think that's okay. So we'll put them just like, yeah, just like there and there. And um, these we will just store, I think we'll just store like guns here. Um, and then there'll be... There'll be, you know, four little guns always at the front of the base, just in case someone, for whatever reason, needs to quickly grab a weapon and they don't have one. Uh, I think at the moment, Dreamer, well, he's not there yet, but he will sleep. He will go to sleep in the prison. Oh, wait. No, he won't. Yeah, now he will. Because um, I noticed he was he was sleeping in, in here. Because, yeah, we only have four bedrooms, but we'll get these mined out. Man, Travis is such a good miner. I guess that's Muffalo wool. Yep. Muffalo are so good. We're getting uh, milk from them. We're getting wool from them. And we can also use them as pack animals, which is pretty damn good as well. This is our dementia Muffalo. And she, you can see she is pregnant here in the late stage. So hopefully soon we'll be getting some Muffalo calves. Probably just one. And hopefully, hopefully it's a female. Um, we will have to keep this girl around probably for a while longer, a few more years even, uh, to build up our population. Um, but at some stage, we'll be, we'll be moving her on in some fashion. I don't, I don't think we can eat her really. That would be, that would be a bit too hard. And we have a poison ship. So where is it? It's down here. Now, it's not too overly far away. Um, yeah, so we'll we'll try and get out there fairly pronto and take care of that. Steel is going to be a big issue here. We have 79 steel. We're definitely going to have to just move some turrets there. Um, you did get armed. Yes, you did. Yeah. So we'll have four characters to take this on, including the Overseer, who, you know, starting to get to the point where I might like to uh, not be taking you to every single encounter. 
but you're probably going to have to come to this one. Yeah, we'll get... Alright, we'll get the initial stuff starting here. So, what we'll do is... Where will we have the colonists stand? Well, we want them to have a quick way back. I think they'll probably want to run back this way. So, you guys can stand, say, like... We'll do, like, a staggered sort of thing. Wait, this is going to have to be closer, because we... We're running some pretty... What are you doing? Pulling in your leather. That's alright. We're running some pretty short-range guns. So it's going to need to be more like... So... So yeah, if our colonists could stand there, that would be alright. That's enough room for the four of them. And then we'll put the guns... We'll put the guns, like, somewhat there. And then the battery can go back here somewhere. And we'll... I won't... I won't actually queue that roof. I'll clear that. Because, um, otherwise they'll just... Because of the way the priorities are changed with one of the mods there, they'll just run straight out and do that above all the other things that they need to do so it's not really worth you just running out here just to you know just to put up a tiny bit of roof i swear i heard an explosion then maybe that was a boom rat dying it was a boom rat dying cool dead boom rat whatever you can see that a lot of the trees have disappeared like uh like i said they would um but it does look like let's do like that, and like that, and the battery can go there somewhere. Yeah, it looks like the um, it looks like the trees respawn at the edge of the map, just like a uh, an animal would. Because if you look at all the edges here, they're all lush and green sort of thing at the moment. Um, especially because we've just come out of spring into summer. Um, but yeah, in the center here, we haven't had any fires in here or anything. But everything has just died off from the toxic fallout. Um, I don't know. Let's just see. I'm not actually going to do this. But, yeah. So I couldn't actually harvest anything here. So these are all like... Oh, there's one that is actually harvestable. We'll cancel that. Um, oh, Lim Hansen. Alright, Lim Hansen, I'm going to restrict you inside the base and that's probably a good excuse for us to take a look at those areas mad animal we'll get to that in i'll get to it now what is it it's a hare that's fine you can be hunted and uh someone can flick the switch hopefully the hare doesn't poke someone's eye out uh oh travis did chop down a tree there whatever yeah, but, yeah, that's something we were aware of from the start, that wood was going to be a bit hard to come by. I do like the rain effect. I'm not sure how well you can see that on YouTube. I know when I encode it and stuff, you can see it quite well on the uh, original file, but once you do it, once you post it to YouTube, it tends to, uh, you tend to not be able to see that quite so well. Uh, Travis is being attacked by the hare. Yeah, shoot it. Shoot it, Trav. Uh, and is anyone else close? Come and help. Oh, it's dead. Alright. Did Travis get his eye poked out? Ah, oh, He did. <laughs> he did. Oh, no. His right eye got scarred from the hair. See, it's like... Whenever there's a mad hair or something, like, if I'm actually trying to be super efficient, I'll babysit killing it. But it's like, you know, should you really have to do that for a hair every time it happens? <sighs> well, if you want to avoid people getting their eyes poked out, you probably should. I guess Travis is treating himself. Yeah, he... I guess he is. Uh, let's take a look at our medical tab and do that. 
doesn't look like we've wasted any more glitter world meds since the last time and yeah what were we doing we were checking our inside base area ah oh, it's actually yeah it is still good because i future proofed it quite a bit let's just be a bit careful there and um oh yeah i am planning to come this way so let's just like let's just like for the moment clear off like that sort of thing that's good uh and we'll reflick that switch beautiful Uh, how is our little... So our little thing is actually set up here. So I guess I'll cue the roof to happen. I should have probably done that. Made someone put that up while they were out here. But we didn't do that. So we're going to be slightly inefficient there. Declan's going to run out and do that now. Um, and that means we're pretty much good to go for attacking another poison ship. Hopefully we can get an AI Persona Core out of this just because it's expensive and we'd like to sell it, maybe. Lots of hauling there to do. Lots and lots of hauling. More hauling than we can ever get to. We do need that hauling bot at some point. Um, all right, when do I want to move on that? Uh, let's... Let's go for today. Let's let's go for today. Nadine's probably confused again, or one of the muffalo. All right, so we're starting from the turret on the left here. How many will we put here? Well, we're gonna go for one. Oop, that's not a turret. That's a turret. So you want to go, say there. Hopefully, we don't get another Inferno Cannon dude here. I guess we're going to go with four turrets. That looks like what we're going with here. Hopefully, that's enough. There we go. Alright, so let's get those moved out. Travis is moving one out now. Declan's asleep. Ah, oh, he's up now. Okay. Okay. Yeah, because he's on the night owl schedule. Um, okay. We're pretty much ready here. We're pretty much ready here. Do I want to... Let's take a quick look at our guns, though. Yeah. I've set this up for short range already, and I prefer the more rapid fire guns. They're a little bit better at dealing damage, to be honest. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go for that. All right, and we're gonna reinstall this battery right here. And we're pretty much ready to go at this point. You're armed, you're armed, you're armed. The pistol, see that's one thing maybe no, I still actually prefer the pistol over the survival rifle for this job. I actually do. Yeah, I actually do. Alright then. Alright then. And of course, Travis is going to be an even worse shot now. Oh, that's really bad. So he has two scars on his eye. And you can see it says efficiency 40% there. So his eye is only working at 40% efficiency. If we have a look at Lim Hansen's, your scar wasn't actually too bad. See, 80%, that's not too bad as far as these things go. But Travis is pretty blind in one eye, which is not great. All right, Travis is heading out there with the thing. So let's get everyone else out here. You're hauling some steel slag. Um, okay. We need you out here. Yeah, and I guess, yeah, we need you to come out as well. Alright. Dreamer's coming down. Cool, 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 cool. Alright. 
Trav's having a meal. It's not a bad thing for Trav to do. Okay, we should have the heavy SMG guys as close as possible. So that's you, Travis. And... You, Dreamer. And then we'll do our usual thing here. We're going to shoot the ship. We're going to see what we get. And then we'll play it by ear from there. So it's possible we'll just be shooting the poison ship down to 50% and running away. Let's see what we get. We get one guy who does have an inferno cannon. It looks like he is shooting towards the colonists. So we're going to run him back temporarily. And hopefully he picks up a turret. Instead of running them all back, I'm going to, like, starburst them here. Like so. Oh, oh, it missed, thankfully. Okay, he's watching for targets. You go here. Travis, go here. You guys, yeah, you guys have such crappy range. Travis will be in range. Okay, you are going towards a... You're looking at a turret now. Yeah, see, that's why I love the LMG. Look at the range on that. Such great range. It does good damage. It has good rate of fire. There we go. Oh, now you're looking at one of these guys. Back up, boys. All right, missed. How are we doing on this guy? Uh, this turret here can't see it. You know what? We're going to... Yeah, we're going to back... A bunch of these guys up for real try and encourage this thing to move it's down awesome awesome we've done a pretty good job i must say of dealing with these things let's actually go and kill this now and that way we won't hopefully forget that we have someone recruited there and <laughs> have them sit there and you know shoot something forever we will reinstall the battery again back in the cold storage temporarily uh, until we get our battery room set up. And then, yeah, we'll get all our, our turrets reinstalled here. Uh, did I see someone heading back there? Oh, Beardy. Beardy's out here. No, of course they won't head back because they're, they're still recruited. Um, so let's get all of our turrets reinstalled. And our defenses reset up here. Alright, we did kill that. We didn't get an AI Persona Core, which sucks. We did get Steel, which we really need at the moment, which is which is good. We got some Silver. And we got this guy, who... We will actually get some... Um, you're going to shut him down, that's good. You're going to haul the battery. You're restricted. So I'll unrestrict you... And can I get you to do that? And Dreamer, can I get you to do that one? Cool. And then I'll get Travis to bring another one back when he's done shutting this mechanoid down. Uh, yeah, which, as I was saying, we will get some more steel out of this, so that's good. And some components. I think Plasteel as well. And now you're already hauling that turret, which is, which is not bad at all. Um, I'll flag this to be deconstructed as well. Yeah, and someone else can come back and do that in a sec. That's alright. You know what? Now that we're down here, we'll deconstruct that ship chunk as well. Biddy, I'll get you to do that. And then haul the components back. 